What's up, people? What's going on? It's the BQF, the Black Quarterback Forum. You're, yours truly, Alex Herring. Uh, what else I call myself? A Boogie, A Dizzle, all those names. So let's let's get into it this week, right? I know ain't a lot of people watching. Excuse me. I get so excited when I do this stuff. I know there's not a lot of people watching the videos based on the figures. But that's okay. I'm still going to talk when I talk about the NFL. Because I know a few people maybe watch the videos and then, you know, go somewhere else. Which is cool. Because I only talk about the black quarterbacks in the NFL. And to me, that's all that matters, right? At the end of the day, if a white quarterback wins the Super Bowl, fantastic. But as long as these black quarterbacks are winning, it's Patrick Mahomes, Jersey. I got... Uh, I forget <laughs> the names just run through my mind uh, when I'm trying to think about these quarterbacks. But C.J. Stroud, Lamar Jackson up there. And then if I get out the way, you can see, Pat, uh, not Patrick, but um, my man from Green Bay, Jordan Love. Caleb Williams is up there too. And Jalen Hurts. All the winners this past weekend, people. Six winners. Is <laughs> that? And I got them hanging up. See, there go Jalen Hurts. Let me get out the way so y'all can see. Caleb Williams and Jordan Love. I got the six winners from the NFL last week. Yeah, those are the people that won. So as I said, this is Alex Herring here. Your boys truly. I'm a. I'm gonna go talk about the book here in a moment. But yours truly, a Dizzle, um, whatever else you want to call me, a Boogie. We gonna get into it in a minute. But as you see, I ain't got no jersey on. I got my. I'm going, I had to go look it up. I'm forgetting everything. <laughs> if you ain't my daughter or my wife or my job, I'm forgetting who the hell you are. So, anyway, because I don't do this for a living. I live for a living. You know what I'm saying? I work and I do other things. But, you know, I love talking about football. I'm by myself this year. I'm solo, baby. That's right. So, but anyway, let's get to it, right? Um, before I do that, let's talk about this book for a minute that I, that I keep with me. And I've been reading not as much as I was the first couple of days, but it's at my website, and I got this page that I'm going to go over right quickly. It's chapter 6, uh, chapter 5, I believe, um, because chapter 6 comes up next. Yeah, 1968 is what chapter 6 is called. I'm stuck on chapter 5. I ain't been as reading as much as I have been when I first got the book. But chapter 5 talks about some of the younger, well, not younger than and this past, they done passed on most of them. The older cats back in the 50s and the early days of the NFL when they was just coming out and they didn't want the blacks playing quarterback. They didn't want us in there. But there was a few cats that got through. They weren't drafted um, as my man Marlon Briscoe was with that NFL. But they are names and my man talks about them. So... He talks about this uh, gentleman by the name of Willie Thrower. And just like Willie Thrower, Talaferro was another black quarterback back then, George Talaferro. Also played quarterback during the 1953 season. Only weeks after Thrower's historic moment, Talaferro became the second African American to complete a pass in the NFL. So, as I said, I'm going to try to keep up with the book and try to give you a little bit of insight into it. But that's all I got for you right now this week. So, um, like I said, I've been reading it. And my reading has slowed down because it's just other things, life, you know. I'm not one of those ones who sit down and read a book in one night. That's just not me. So anyway, I'm still reading it slowly. But I'm going to try to bring a little bit of it, a section out of where I'm reading from every time I do this video. And this video is once a week. I know it's not going in a lot of attention, but that's okay. For those who watch it, I talk about nothing but the black quarterbacks. I'm going to get into the black quarterbacks and what I think is going to happen with the NFL, with the black quarterbacks. But, you know, I like to go over the winners. So, you know, we had Caleb Williams. They played early Sunday morning, I believe. I, I try to get up and watch those games. I have my mind be on other things. I got other things to do on Sunday morning. So I did miss that game completely. But he did win that game, Chicago. He was 23 for 29, 226 yards. 7.8 average. He had four touchdowns and one INT. He was sacked three times for minus five yards. He had a 120, a rating of 124.4. Mm -hmm. 
So when they beat the Jaguars, which everybody been beating up on the Jaguars this year, people was asking, you know, is that quarterback really uh, at that level? So, you know, anyway, that's Caleb Williams. And right now, him and Jaden Dang is going to be in that challenge for quarterback of the year. Or not quarterback of the year, MVP. <laughs> so, Jaden Daniels still got that edge on him at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Jordan Love, he beat up on the Cardinals and Kyler Murray. He was 22 for 32, 258 yards at 8.1 average. Jordan's average is always down the field. He was four touchdowns and one INT. He was sacked zero times. Not at all, people. He had a rating of 119.5. Um, he did have five rushes for 13 yards, and I said I wasn't going to go back and forth and as long as it's positive yards, 10 or more, maybe, I'm going to talk about it. But they beat the Cardinals and Kyler Murray. And um, Jordan Love is back to his winning ways. That's a tough conference. I'm going to talk about that conference or division, I should say, within the conference. The AFC North. You got the Lions, the Bears, Vikings, uh, and, the Lions, and, and the Packers. Excuse me, and the Packers. Everybody got a winning record. Four games and better. So... And Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, they beat up on the Browns. Jalen Hurts, 16 for 25, 264 yards. He had 10.6 average. Mm. Two touchdowns and zero INTs. He was sacked one time for eight-yard loss, and he had a rating of 126.1. So, and they talked about that game. I listened to him talk about that game, talk about how the Eagles didn't do anything until late in the game, the second quarter. No one got in the red zone. Hey, you get the W, it doesn't matter. It's all that matters, you get the W. So in the NFC, we had Dak, Jaden, Kyler Murray, and Geno Smith, all losers. Only thing I'll say about Dak, right, he's that $60 million man. I keep, if you read what I put at the website, which I'm sure a lot of people do, more so than watch these silly videos that I make. But $60 million, man, come on, they ain't winning the Super Bowl. I'm saying that right here now. Okay, they're not winning the Super Bowl coming out of the NFC. If they win the Super Bowl with the team they got and Dak's playing quarterback, he's made some amazing plays throughout the year. We're going into week seven. That's just that fast. We're almost halfway through the season. We're going through week seven right now. Okay? So, Jaden Daniels did lose. That was a tough loss. He lost to one of the best quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens, baby. He lost to one of the best. Kyler Murray. I mentioned him and his loss to the Jordan Love and the Patriots. I mean, not the Patriots, the Packers. I tell you, man, I'm trying to focus on this stuff. And Geno Smith lost. It could be a week tomorrow, last Thursday, to the 49ers. And the 49ers, you know, look, I watched the video. I wish I could have saved that video. But this dude talked about the Cardinals. And I was like, man, come on. As much as I would love to see the Cardinals win something with Kyler Murray as quarterback, that would be amazing, right? That would be but they're just going to be good. They're not going to win it all. They're not even going to win that division over the 49ers playing with the quarterback they got. I mean, come on. And the talent they got around him, the Cardinals don't match up. So I, I talk about the Cardinals. I love to see them win. Yes, but they're not going to win. It's just what it is. And Geno Smith, it's just a matter of time before he's replaced, right? He's going to continue to play and you know, have an interception here too, throw for close to 300 yards, but will they win? Who knows? So when you look at the NFC, <laughs> the way it's shaking down right now, you got Jaden Daniels leading the NFC East, right? One of the black quarterbacks that if they keep winning, they might be in the playoffs, but really um, do People expect them to do much if they make the playoffs? Probably not, right? And then you got the Lions who um, are winning that division, I do believe. Um, and no, excuse me, the Vikings are winning that division right now. The Vikings, my apologies. The Vikings are 5-0. and And they got a tough game coming up. They're on the road. I looked at the games. My apologies. I forget who they're playing. But they do got a tough game coming up. And then you have... Tampa Bay in the south, and you got the Niners in the west. 
So it's going to be hard for one of these brothers to come up out the Eastern Conference and get that conference, right? Because last year in the AFC Championship game, it was the Niners and the Lions. And it's looking like that again, unfortunately, for the brothers on that side in the NFC. You know, Jordan Love's in third place right now. What's going to happen to the Vikings? Are they going to continue to win? They're always going to be chasing after the Lions. So they won game behind the Lions right now. The Lions are five and or f- four and one. Or five and one, I'm sorry. We played six games and they're going into week seven. So and Minnesota is five and oh. Uh right, they're undefeated. So I might be wrong on the Lions record. They could be four and one or four and two or five and one. I'm sorry. I didn't look at everybody's records, but I know the Vikings are undefeated. And then you got the Lions and then you got the Packers who are a couple games behind them. Okay? So, and then, who's ever bringing, oh, they got the Bears bringing up that division at the moment. So, there there are two of my black quarterbacks. You got Jordan Love and Caleb Williams. So, I don't think both of them is going to come up out of that division. If Minnesota keeps winning, you're looking at Minnesota and possibly the Lions. But then in the East, you got Jaden Daniels. Jordan Love, yeah, Jaden Daniels, excuse me, <laughs> Jaden Daniels, Jalen Hurts, all these J's, oh my goodness, going to be fighting at it. And Dak, I always make a note of him as a $60 million man. That's what he is, right? Because if he don't win the Super Bowl, he's a $60 million just going down the toilet. And Jerry Jones is one of the few owners to be on TV having press comedy. the only owner. Why is that? Maybe that was fun when the Dallas was winning and had chances to get to the Super Bowl. They don't have a chance now, I don't think. And so looking at the other black quarterbacks, well, Jaden lost, but really, is he going to get to the Super Bowl in his first, I don't think so, his first effort? I don't think so. Kyler Murray and Geno Smith. <sighs> mm. It's just going to be hard for y'all to somebody to break through. That's all I'm saying. But in the NFC, in the AFC, it's a whole different story, baby. Let's go over the victories. So we had C.J. Stroud. He was 20 for 31, 192 yards, three TDs, one INT. He was sacked two times for minus 16 yards. He had a rating of 100.5, and they beat the Patriots. I mean, CJ didn't have to do a whole lot for him to beat the Patriots. Lamar Jackson, he was 20 for 26, 323 yards, 12.4 average. He was one. For he was one touchdown, one INT. He was sacked two times for minus fifteen yards, and his rating was one fourteen point seven. He rushed eleven times for forty yards, and they beat the Washington um, Commanders. I'm trying to think of their name. <laughs> I was about to shout off the basketball name, but they beat the Commanders with Jaden Daniels. And that was a game. I mean, I watched most of that game here locally. You know, if you ain't got some one of those fancy sporting apps or sites, you only get to see your local game. So unless you have uh, the NFL ticket where they pay, you pay. You know, I don't do that. So I watch free stuff. <laughs> so I did watch most of that game on um, Dofu. I just came premiere to my TV, but I can watch it on my phone. So I, that was a game I was watching. And Jaden Daniels was they was coming at Lamar and them. And Lamar and them did win. But hey, uh, Jaden and them was coming hard. So that young boy going to be something, though. <laughs> We're going to see what happened with Washington. The other winner in the NFC, Justin Fields. He was only 14 for 24, 145 yards. Six point yard average he was sacked zero times. He had a rating of 75.5. Or excuse me. He had zero touchdowns and zero INTs. He was sacked three times with 35 yards. My apologies. And he rushed 11 times with 59 yards and they beat the Raiders. The Raiders, they beat the Ravens. But as I started out, <laughs> not here, but I would joke a lot about them on, on my other site that I, I haven't made a video there in quite a while. 
So, they are the three winners. And then the loser was Deshaun. Um, you know, they lost to the Eagles. And Deshaun, I haven't really watched any of the Browns games this year. They play Cincinnati this week coming up. And they beat Cincinnati in week one last year. And I called that game. Ah, it's going to be a hard time for them to beat Cincinnati this time. But I'm hoping they do it to kind of put Cincinnati further down. Because in the AFC, it's plain and simple, right? We got the division winners. And I said, Josh Allen. He's His team, they just picked up uh, Amari Cooper, right? <clears throat> So that's going to help them. He's going to become their number one guy. It's just going to help Josh out. You know, it is what it is. And then you got Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud, and the guy. That's right, Patrick Mahomes. So you got three division winners. They're most likely, unless something happens, they're going to continue to win games, and they will win those divisions. And then <laughs> we're going to see who bees who. <laughs> Who bees? Who is the number one uh, quarterback? Number one team in the AFC, and that team gets the first round bye. Right? Same thing with team in the NFC. So we're gonna see. And so the losers in the AFC. He got Deshaun. He lost. He's one and five right now. So, and then well, Jacoby Brissett and Anthony Richardson. They don't start right now. They they lost their spots. Well, Anthony is hurt. He's going to come back. But Jacoby lost his spot. We knew that was going to happen, right? Week six, seven, whatever. It happened week five. Um, week six, I should say. He went and started, and they lost. So, <laughs> you know, I just keep it real. I just talk about the black quarterbacks. That's it. That's all I got to talk about. I don't talk about the other white guys because their teams, well, in the NFC, they got some – <laughs> They're going to make some noise in the NFC. In the AFC, other than Josh Allen and, and the Bills, if the Cincinnati Bengals don't win this week and they play the Browns, and the Browns are going to be trying hard to beat them. If the Browns beat them and they are 2-6, and six, no, 2-5. and five. I think it's week 7. They haven't had a bye. 2-5. and five. They'll be 2-5. and five. If the Browns can find a way to beat them, hmm, it'd be hard. I hear on TV, we don't want to put the Browns, we don't want to put Cincinnati in, in that other category that the you know these other one in five teams are. So, but if they win, they got a long way to go back, get back. If Pittsburgh keeps winning, I don't know. There was three teams out of that division in the playoffs last year. Steelers, Browns, and the Ravens. Well, three teams come by the division this year. <laughs> That's, well, you know, the Jets going to be trying hard to get there. They just picked up my man um, Devontae Adams, right? Him and Rodgers played together in Green Bay. I saw a clip of the, on the sports news and how Rodgers talked about they was in the same meeting room earlier this past week, I guess. So, but in the AFC, look, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud, one of the three will be representing the AFC. Josh Allen, they 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 good. I don't know though. So one of those four, I will say this: one of those four, right? They're, they're the division winners right now. And if they just keep winning, they're going to win their division, and they will be playing in the playoffs. Those four teams, they're going to beat everybody, and then those four teams will be playing off. Then you'll have two. All right, that's pretty much it. And the NFC, I can't say. I mean, wow, it's it's wide open. I mean, I, I'm not even going to try to call it the NFC. But the AFC, it's clear. It's easy. And you say, oh, well, what do you mean? And you know, those teams, the, outside of the divisions you got in the East, you got the Jets trying to do better. And then you got Buffalo, who's just going to, win that division, right? Even if the Jets, the Jets might get there, right? Even if say the Jets get there as a second, as not the division winner, I don't think they're going to win that division, but they just get there, right? And they make the playoffs. They'll probably lose to whoever they play. I mean, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will win, but I don't see them going to conference championship or definitely the Super Bowl. So you look at the other divisions where Baltimore is, and if, and if um, 
Cincinnati do find their way back somehow in a way, or if Pittsburgh gets in there. And then I don't think nobody else is coming out of the division that uh, the South, the AFC South. I don't think anybody's coming out of the AFC South other than uh, Houston. And out the West, maybe another team. But regardless who comes out of that division, they're going to lose. They're going to end up losing to the Chiefs or the Ravens or somebody. So I'm calling the the West or the the AFC side, there's going to be a black quarterback. It's just between <laughs> Lamar, Patrick Mahomes, or C.J. Stroud. Those are the three that, that are, one of those three will come out. I can't call the East right now, right? And, and you don't need the whole season. And as long as these guys stay healthy, their teams are going to be there, right? So with that said, in the NFC, hey, <laughs> whichever of those division winners you want to pick right now, and you got three white guys and a black guy. <laughs> so, so, and we know Jaden Daniels is probably not going to hold that. But if they do, hey. More power to them, and you get to the playoffs. And Caleb Williams, that division, oof, man. The Lions, the Packers, the Bears, and the Vikings. Ooh, man, why the Vikings keep winning? Man. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting, people. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be interesting as we go down the stretch, right? we almost halfway through the season. Y'all realize that? I woke up one day, and it was week one. Now it's week seven. Two more weeks, well, one more, two more, whatever you want to look at, eight, nine games is halfway. So, anyway, good luck to you and your team. You know, all I do is talk about the black teams, baby. I look at all the football when I do, and I got other things going I got a lot of other things going on in life right now. But I'm still trying to keep up with this video because I, I do it, and I know there's people out there to watch it. So, I know it's not a lot, it's just a couple. I know I ain't going a whole, I'm not garnering a whole lot of attention, if that's a word, garner, you know, grab, garner, get, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just here talking about the black quarterbacks after each week, whatever they do. And we got the buys going on right now. And we got some people who lost, they, excuse me, lost their spots. <laughs> They're no longer starting. So we don't talk about their teams no more. But we wish them well. And we hope, you know, that they're doing well. So. With that said, it's a short, easy week, people. And I'm out. I'll see y'all next time. BQF, Black Quarterback Forum. BlackQBsInEffect.com website. We'll get at you, people.